have returned once again today to deliver another stream of Steins Gate Zero. Hey, Twitch, Twitch kicked in straight away at that time, it did not spook me. So, as I said beforehand, we have returned today to do another stream of Steins Gate Zero. On this stream, we are covering episode 10 of Steins Gate Zero. And as we know, we've hit back the original timeline, which actually isn't the original timeline, but it's the original timeline for this series. And yeah, I, I am, what I'm trying to, what I'm go, yeah, what I'm trying to say, I haven't said anything yet. My brain's not working today, again, as it always is. Um... What's happened so far is, a ba is basically the fact that Okabe has become a lot more, I would say, actually active towards the role itself of being a protagonist, because beforehand, he was kind of more in the background. He was still there, he was actively the protagonist, but he wasn't the protagonist we knew in Steinsgate, the original series. He was kind of this more, as we know, broken person, which makes sense. But ever since going back to the previous timeline, which actually is Steinsgate normal series, it's sort of kind of changed him to be a bit more active to actually find out truly what's going on and who the actual culprits are and how to stop what's going on here. And we actually had the whole moment with Suzuha as well, which actually was a very much a build-up towards that one moment. We had that thing always in the background. We're just, we're just thinking to ourselves, when's it going to happen? And last week actually was the time in which it actually happened. But now it's kind of like, okay, so we've got mysteries now. We've got the mystery of what, what, of what Maho actually knows, what's truly going on with Maho's character. Because again, she's very active towards the whole entire role of this narrative, but now we know she's actually got a lot more than what we actually than what we actually aptly imagined originally. So it'll be interesting to see what actually happens in that one, in that context of the narrative. So, anyway, enough talk of um, what's going to happen next. Let's actually see what happens next. So, that firm delay, let's put on Twitter, I've gone live. Right, so, uh, gone live for Steins Gate, oop, Steins Gate Zero episode, oop, no, episode 10. And yeah, good to go. Good to go. All right, so let's cancel that because I don't know why a message always pops up on Twitch now. It's interesting what I've learned just recently. But anyway, enough of um, really weird problems when it comes to Twitch. Now let's get the show on the road. So in three, two, one, let's begin this thing now. It's kind of interesting to see who and how, um, or more how than who, but how Carissa actually impacted everyone's life, in a way. It's actually kind of an interesting concept to actually kind of realise, because we've we've seen Okabe lose her, and we actually know the impact it actually has on him, but now we're actually seeing it from Maho's perspective. 
And actually, it's actually quite an interesting concept because it's one of those things that it tells you how much of an impact she actually had. It kind of means what it, and it kind of tells you what it's like without her there. It's one of those things you can see it straight away the impact of her not being there, but just seeing it from the character's perspective actually really adds a lot more to it. It's kind of a neat thing to do, really. I don't think we actually ever saw him after the events of what happened with the um, thing of Amadeus. So that's kind of an interesting concept actually really went on that what really went on with him there. Because the series is full of red herrings. It's one of those things, the series is full of them, so you just like you, you think to yourself, who who do we actually really trust here?
That's kind of an interesting te technique to use. It kind of used the whole coffee, um, the swirling coffee technique to its literal terms. That's quite interesting, actually. If I'm not mistaken, the whole entire thing when it comes to um, the swelling coffee, it's the fact of a person's loss of, loss of sanity, or the beginning of, if I'm correctly. If I'm wrong, correct me on that one. I actually can't remember correctly, but I swear it's that. I swear it's what it means.
I mean, I guess this actually is an episode that deconstructs a lot of uh, Marhol's character when you think about it. Which I guess is something we actually kind of needed because, again, it's one of those things that we know we know a lot about her, but there's still some mystery to her character. But it's one of those things that it needs to be delved into, so it's actually kind of neat we actually kind of get in that finally.
Man, that scene, that scene in that line had so much weight to it, as well. It wasn't, it wasn't just the fact he was saying that, it had so much weight to it. Damn. Oh, damn. Here we go. Oh damn, why'd you have to end it there? Why'd you have to end it there again? It's one of those things you just constantly, every single damn time it gets to like the rising action, it just ends. You're like, damn it! That was a really freaking good episode actually. Holy crap. That was it's one of those ones that it rose to that one moment and it just it just stood there and went BAM and ended. I was like, damn it, that was good. You got me good there, White Fox. Really good actually. That was actually a really good um, use of the rising action technique. Jesus Christ, this show is really freaking good. Right, I thought it might be an after credit scene actually, but there wasn't.
Because I always thought I heard footsteps behind them. That's why I was like, Are there, is there footsteps behind them or something? Am I just going nuts? I'm not even too sure at this point. <laughs> I can't even trust myself at this point in life. No, but okay. So, that episode, it was freaking awesome. Because it's one of those, it's one of those ones that's a bit more of a low-key affair for the most part of it. It was kind of... It's one of those episodes that kind of reminded you of the previous times in Steins Gate, the more kind of the more happy times, the kind of more happy-go-lucky times. Not as what we know currently in this timeline, not the depression we always get from watching episodes, but the episode actually was a little bit more light-hearted on that part. But I always thought the way it kind of slowly grew to this one moment Marco's character as time went on, just deconstruct her character and lead, to in, lead into that fun revelation, which is, it was freaking brilliant. It was just like, Mwah, beautiful. Can't argue how they did it because it's just it was just one of those ones that hooks you in, just kind of just makes you go, oh god, now I have to wait a week for that. Oh god, because it's one of those things that you knew the importance of this of this note of this notebook because let's face it, it was always alluding to this whole entire thing, the idea of how an episode nine on that one thing you knew the importance of it but now you actually know the full importance of it it's actually kind of a neat thing to actually come and go okay so now we know if that gets into the wrong hands all hell literally breaks loose it's one of those things that we kind of alluded we kind of real maybe realize this whole entire thing because there's have to be something going on behind closed doors but now we actually get the full confirmation of it it's one of those things that's actually kind of a neat thing to do and it's one of those things that it also though okabe knows primarily what's really going on here it allows you to actually kind of see the people who don't really know themselves what's going to happen next as you find out it actually makes it more devastating when you think about it it's one of those things i actually kind of liked it's the fact that okabe knows but no one else knows like in the sense of the ones who live in this in this current timeline so when they find out it's like oh my freaking god how don't is it's it's, it's, it's devastating for them because they just they've been completely oblivious they think they're doing nothing wrong maho thinks oh Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get something to analyze, and maybe something might actually come of it. But she didn't think to herself, "Oh God, if I do this, what will through happen?" So it's one of those things. It's actually kind of, it's it's a neat it's a neat concept to actually have one character who's actually in the know where everyone else is actually oblivious to the whole entire thing because it allows you to actually kind of actually kind of see that happen in real time and actually kind of make you go, "Christ!" Like you think to yourself, "Oh God, you." It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It just brains is like, please stop it. Please stop it. And okay, it's like, yeah, please stop it. Please, this can't happen. We don't want this to happen because if it all hell breaks loose, oh god, like it's, it's one of those things that she's she already said it. Look, you're always sad. Why are you this way? And it's actually just led into that one moment. I thought it was actually one of those things that the way it kind of structured into that one into that one last minute, it was just freaking incredible. It's one of those things that, that just how I did it was just oh beautiful. Absolutely great. I like it. I really do. I just like the concept that we actually have a character who's actually in the know while someone else actually isn't in the know because it kind of adds more tension to the whole entire thing because we know the stakes. We actually know the ways in which he actually has to kind of subvert what's really going on here and actually kind of fix it. So it's kind of a neat thing because certainly sometimes it can feel a little bit, a little bit too cliched, but in the concept of how it's actually kind of developing in this narrative, is actually really freaking cool. It's actually really well done. Okabe knowing what's, what can actually happen in the future is one of those things. It's actually kind of a neat thing, because it kind of adds more tension to the whole entire narrative. It makes you kind of be on your toes all the time. That's every single event to be even more impactful because you just you like you're like okay, well, a bit more of a um, kind of a low key affair this episode, but then it ends on a really really big note because you're like yeah, it reminds you not every single thing can be complete a okay. It's always going to be this idea that there's always going to be some kind of tension behind closed doors and I think it's just, I think just how they did it was really freaking great. It just really was. Like it's just one of those things that yeah it was it was really freaking good. But yeah I mean it's one of those things that now we will find that the fallout of, of this whole entire event what's actually going to happen whether or not they actually can get to the laptop in time whether or not they can't get to the laptop what actually happens. Because we know we know what happens but the fact of what actually might could they fix it in time? We don't know. It's one of those things that we just... We know the tail end of the whole entire thing. We just don't in the middle of it yet. And it's actually one of the things that makes it a little bit more intriguing to actually kind of see what does happen next. It makes it a little bit more intriguing, I must say. So, yeah. I really... All in all, this episode actually was really freaking great. I like the idea of how to use the motif of the um, swirling coffee. I thought it was actually a really neat thing because it's one of those things, if I'm not mistaken, it kind of um, is... It's the idea of how a person slowly, slowly loses their sanity. It's that whole entire thing of swirling coffee just basically represents someone's mind. And the idea of how they did it in that scene was actually quite neat because it's one of those things that kind of... 
it's slow. It's sh it shows you a slow descent of uh, Marco's character because as time went on, we're kind of getting this deconstruction of her character because it's been, as I said before, I'm saying during the stream, we know a lot about her. We know what we need to know just at this very second, but it's always been that whole entire idea. There's always been a bit of mystery to her that we just don't know just yet. And I think it led to that one moment. I think it's actually one of those things that's actually really neat. Just it's just all the lead up was really freaking good because it all meant something. It wasn't just filler because in certain other shows this could have been filler, but it wasn't. It was actually it all it all meant something towards the narrative. I thought it was actually just really freaking good because of it. I thought it's really benefited the whole entire show. Like it's not one moment where it's actually kind of wasted. Every single moment means something. And it's just one of those things that will win. What will happen next? Because you can't ever, you can't ever predict what's going to happen next. So that's the thing. The show's got that unpredictability factor to it. You just can't find you can't find out or figure out what's happening. We can find out, but you can't figure out what's going to happen next. And all these things actually really freaking neat, neatly neatly done. I say the work around is neatly done. So yeah, let's see what happens next. Let's see what's going down because it's just. It'll be one to remember, as they say, what actually does happen after this fallout, what's going to happen to the characters, what's going to happen to the events of the world, time and everything else, and also what's going to trigger, what, what possibly might trigger an actual kind of change in timeline as well, because there's got to be another change in timeline as the series goes on, because there's been one so far, it's got to be, no, it's got to be one or two more, don't know when, but it's probably going to happen at one point, let's see what's going to happen, so... With all that said, I have indeed been the driver. If you have enjoyed this whole entire stream as a whole on Twitch, then do leave a follow because indeed it does have quite a bit. If you do here on YouTube and you do want to leave a like, then do leave a like because indeed it does have quite a bit. If you do here on YouTube and you want to stay that little bit longer, then do leave a sub because indeed it does have quite a bit. But until next time, I have indeed been the driver and I shall see you guys later.